I would say what's impacted me most uh, over my life has been uh, my upbringing, you know, those stories that my parents told me when I was young about where they came from. So when, when the Soviet Union invaded Czechoslovakia in 1968, it was completely unexpected. My mum was 19 at the time and she uh, she was woken by my granddad who uh, had heard the tanks rolling in uh, in the streets outside and they saw them approaching and they didn't know what happened because it was completely unexpected. Um, she didn't have a strong grasp of English, she'd studied it at school but not uh, not wasn't wasn't fluent and she had to find her way to the UK and by train and bus and, and boat across the channel and she arrived in Liverpool Street station uh, and, and didn't have any assets to speak of or any, any anything to go on. All she had was a contact of a person she was going to be an au pair to. It's, uh, it's something that uh, I don't think people know enough about uh, about it, especially given it was it's on our doorstep. And since you know in the last last say tw thirty years, actually travel to Central Europe has become common, and people jump on you know, a cheap flight to go and visit Prague. Uh, and I, I think many of them don't even know what happened in that short time that short time ago, uh, and and the history of it. Uh, it's it's quite a it's it's within living memory, uh, and it's quite important to me that I absorb as much of that story from my my mum uh, so that my children and not just my children April everyone knows about it uh, I think that yeah we're, we're at risk of repeating history if, if we don't remember what happened uh, and and remember the the suffering that can occur uh, so one of the things that you don't lose when you come to another country with nothing is your set of values and education was always there, always very important. So uh, both my parents had high aspirations for me and my, my brothers. Uh, it was very uh, important for them to uh, instill in that. So at home, in school, uh, it was always the focus that was on making sure that you worked your hardest and uh, that education would give you greater opportunities later in life. The reason that I even found out about Trinity was the my head teacher at my school, Ryland in South Norwood, uh, spoke to my mum and said I should, it was probably a good idea if I was put forward, uh, that I might have an opportunity to come here. And it wasn't really something that was she was aware of or on her radar. It was, uh, wasn't something that was we thought would be available to people like us. I found a really nice group of friends uh, who we get on really well and we still are really close together now, which I think is, uh, is, is amazing really my, most uh, many of my friends are from the j bugs group that i when uh, from when i started at trinity and 25 years later we're still really good friends uh, one of the teachers that uh, i really remember fondly was mr tim who were, taught me history at a level and i really enjoyed sitting in one of these classrooms there were small classes usually six or eight of us i think and we got to really get into some interesting topics of uh, uh, Dutch history, or uh, you know, lots of different areas we covered. And uh, he was he he was quite an inspiration for me. And as it happens, uh, when Aidan came to apply for Trinity, he uh, we bumped into him in the corridor because he's still obviously here, and uh, and he recognised me, and he said that I was the first one to come round with uh, for a second generation. But I think there are some connections we can clearly draw between events now in Ukraine and events in Prague. The parallels are more about the cynical and the brutal reproach that Russia or the Soviet Union in 68 has taken. And I think on that human level the parallels are, are very clear. Um, the response in both cases or the actions in both cases have been, have been really brutal and sudden and dramatic. And what's also very marked has been the extraordinary resilience and bravery of, of civilian populations in the face of this. Uh, pictures in Czechoslovakia of students positioning themselves in front of tanks. But the fallout was that many people, those who could, uh, left Prague and Czechoslovakia, and one of those being, being John's mother, who came to the UK aged 19 and 68. And clearly we're very aware at the moment of Ukrainians 
families and children coming over to the UK now in, in large numbers, even larger numbers in the rest of Europe. And this is, this is happening very close to home, just up the road from where we're speaking now, at St John's Primary School, a school that we have connections with, I have some direct involvement with. Uh, I'm aware that at least two Ukrainian children are now studying at St John's. Hopefully, that's not for very long. Um, sadly, it's difficult to see a, a quick end to what's going on in Ukraine, and one suspects that's going to be for a, at least the medium term, if, if not the longer term. And that may mean that we start to see families who've come over on that basis who, who do look to schools like Trinity for the support that we can offer. And if that is the case, then I've, I've no doubt that's something we would, we would be very keen to facilitate. And there is quite a long tradition of this. Um, in the time that I've been here, I'm aware of students here who have backgrounds themselves or through their families from Somalia, from Uganda, perhaps going further back from Vietnam. And this is something very much that, that our bursary scheme is able to do. We, we don't distinguish between where children come from. If there's a need and children are going to benefit from the education here and we can meet that need, then that's something we will do. And I suppose where, where this brings us back to, to Prague and, and John's story, that there's a family who fled extraordinarily difficult, traumatic circumstances with very little and had to re-establish themselves in a new country. And, and so John and now John's son are the embodiment of what, what a bursary scheme can make and the transformative experience that can have.